So this week, the Hawaii National Guard Surf Key has been conducting hurricane response training uh, for wide area search using the Joint Hazard Assessment Team concept. And what we were able to do is get together the Hawaii Surf P, uh, Nevada Surf P, as well as California Surf P uh, to form a small group to kind of test and evaluate, work through uh, tactics, techniques, and procedures for hurricane response uh, using Cree assets, but in a small teams format. This type of training is important uh, for the National Guard response to support uh, our National Guard civil support duties. Uh, what we're doing is showcasing how uh, Cree, that's National Guard Bureau's Seabird and Response Enterprise assets, can be utilized in a small teams format, vice having to deploy the whole team, uh, essentially showcasing the modularity of uh, the Seabird and Response capability within the National Guard. We're leveraging existing capabilities within the Cree the Seaburn Response Enterprise, uh, which is our extractors, the rescue elements, medical, as well as hazmat capabilities. Uh, but the way we're pushing the envelope and uh, kind of using a novel employment is the JHAC concept, where we're bringing together uh, multiple resources, multiple technical specialties. So we're really emphasizing bringing together the, the extraction, rescue, medical, Seaburn, hazmat, uh, as well as with first responders to increase interoperability. Over the course of three days, uh, we've had nine lanes training events uh, that spanned from collapse structure uh, with hazmat, both ticks and tims, chemicals, as well as radiological, um, to rollover car accidents involving uh, flammable compounds, and then all the way through a wide area search of a large area uh, where we have a mass casualty event uh, of over 40 personnel that had to be searched, uh, found, extracted, and then medically managed. I think the National Guard as a whole over several years is finding more and more the need or the demand signal from first responders and our, our civilian uh, entities. And this is just another way that we're trying to meet and answer that call and identify capability gaps and better support our community and first responders.